problem for um, uh, trig identities in a very unique way. What we're doing is we're saying, well, I know, I remember what sine 2u is. Sine 2u is 2 sine u cosine u, or sine 2x is sine 2 sine x cosine x. So what I'll do with that sine 4x is I'll use that by putting a u, 2x in for u. And that gives me a times 2 times sine 2x cosine 2x plus b sine 2x equals 0. Now, why did I do it that way, Matt? What am I thinking of doing next? We could break these down again, couldn't we? Before you do that, though, does anybody see something that might make our lives a little easier before we change these all into 2 sine x, cosine x, and so on? Yeah. because this is the equivalent to sine 2 times 2x. This is 2 sine 2x times cosine 2x. So what am I going to do with this then? What should I do? What mathematically could I do to make my life so much better? Anybody see it? Don't change it into uh, break down those sine 2x's yet. What could I do with this sine 2x and this sine 2x? What could I do with it? There you go. Factor it out. Because if you factor it out, and this is a big move, I'll get 2a times cosine x, 2x, plus b equals 0. And the reason that's such a nice thing is that we have two possibilities. Either sine 2x equals 0, or this thing is equal to 0, and that bracket thing equal to 0 looks more of what I'm looking for to solve for cosine uh, squared x. So let's do that. We have 2a cosine 2x plus b equals 0. And I'm just going to solve for cosine 2x. 2a cosine 2x equals opposite of b. So cosine 2x equals the opposite of b over 2a. Are you okay, okay with that? So the big moves we've made so far is we changed sine 4x into this. That was a big move. And then the law of zeros is if I had x times y equals zero, I could say x is zero or I could say y is zero. Because if one's zero, it doesn't matter what the other thing is. So that's why this is so helpful to set that equal to zero. And now I can figure out this thing. Now I've got one more thing I need to do to get down to what they want, cosine squared x. Anybody see what I should do next? One more move. Yeah, Fiona. Perfect. Cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And if you change the sine squared, you'll get 2 cosine squared x minus 1 is equal to negative b over 2a. Sound familiar? Well, no. Cosine squared minus sine squared. The minus the minus gives you the two. Yep. So now just solve the rest of the way, and you're going to get got a little algebra left here. 2 cosine squared x equals add 1 to both sides, 1 minus b over 2a, and then divide by 2, I get 1 over 2 minus b over 4a, I divide by 2. 
And then they did, and I know they did in the back of the answers, they multiplied by 1. So they had 2a minus b over 4a. Both of those are fine answers, but that's what they were looking for. So the key to this is being able to be creative with how you do your solving and how you do your substituting. There's three interesting substitutions there.